This is the solo Gen 15 canoe. In general, the design is very similar to Gen 12 and Gen 14. I uh, leveraged the old design and did some modification to it. Because I have a 5 feet by 10 feet crawl plist, so I can make the front and the stern more like a canoe. I have extra crawl plist to work with. Allow the bow and stern be elevated and make it look like a new. It is just for the look. It is not that practical. It may create even more surface area if in a windy condition, it may not be as good. Before I test the solo canoe, I realized that there, there is a design flaw with a Gen 12, 14, and 15. It is related to the this particular area, which I add uh, extra full lines to fix the bug I have in the plan. It doesn't mean that the uh, those are Gen 12, Gen 14, or even my solo canoe will sink. I actually losing the free ball. However, I figure out an easy fix, which I indicated here with the red dotted line. I use a 5 feet by 10 feet coral plus, but most people, they really don't have easy access to this size of a coral plus. So I redesigned the, the canoe to uh, 4 feet wide. The length I'm still keeping at 10 feet. The reason is if I use a 8 feet long corpus, this design can only handle 137 pounds minus 15 pounds, so around 120 pounds, which is not very useful. So I still suggest you to change it to a 10 feet design. Oh, of course, you can always make it even longer. Just like Gen 14, we stretch the, the middle part and make it into a 12 feet canoe. With a 10 feet long, I can get up to about 200 pounds at draft 3 inches. Very often we do 3.5 inches, so it's over 220 pounds easily. I suggest to fuse two sheets together, two 4 feet by 8 feet corpus together. One caveat is I have never built this boat, even though I designed it. But the chance of having to work is very high. Firstly, it's leveraging the old design. Uh, not much big change to it. Before I go any further, I will have to do a paper model. The inner lines are optional lines, and you can ignore those for now. Firstly, it's trying to fold two sides as shown here and then fold the angular lines, both at the front and at the back. The other line, which is shown in yellow, is supposed to be folded from the other side. And you can flip it over and create a fold line. After that, then there are some other lines that are supposed to be folded from the top at these angles. After you are done, then you fold the bow and the stern, those tri triangles. These triangles, you can ignore it for now. We'll handle it after we create the shape of the canoe. After you have completed the basic shape of the canoe, then you can focus on trying to do the four small triangular folds at the bow and at the stern. You can choose to trim off the excess. If you are interested in building this canoe, I would suggest you to firstly build a paper model using thicker paper, which is a better representation of the final canoe. At the center, you can see the black lines. The corpus, two sheets are joined at the center, half fused together, and there are a total of five 
four lines. The first four is to the right, and you can see how I can form a box by folding it this way. And the width is two feet three inches, and the height is four feet, and the thickness is six inches. It actually is pretty compact. Uh, fairly easy to carry. With this canoe, I experimented with a different gunnel design. Actually, it is a very important piece. It enhanced the, the structural strength of the canoe and also make the assembly so much easier and faster. But with a four feet wide coral plus, there's no excess or extra width to make the pocket where I can slide in the PVC pipe. So in my next video, I have an idea to create this pocket. I try to avoid using heat fusion. So if you're not too comfortable with it, you don't need to do it. And yet the look and feel, I believe, turn out probably is much better than what I can do with heat fusion. I will discuss that in my next video. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.